Hello and uh, welcome back. I think this is part three from the Repco versus the the BG70 BL GPS DO, and I'm running it now uh, even a week longer than I uh, did already before. But I also changed uh, the setting on my BG70 BL. Instead of three networks, I'm now running only two networks, and that is the GPS and Galileo only. And it kind of feels like that it is, uh, when I look at the display also, it is uh, a lot more often it says 10 MHz. And I'm still monitoring here the, the Repco and I'm monitoring here the, the BG7 TBL with only now the two networks. And if I look here at the GPS DO, it still some, sometimes says that it is not exactly 10 MHz. And it is trying to correct it a little bit. And instead of here a 3, it is now a 2. But a lot more times, um, I see now that it is all zeros. So that seemed to have improved a little bit. But that was not my uh, biggest surprise. My biggest surprise was actually now that I look at my frequency counter there. I have here the frequency counter. And in the front, I have my external reference. And in the back, I have the Repco or the other way around. Anyway, it's going to see the difference. The surprise was I have my frequency counter here. And I just left it running for a long time. And I already did more than a thousand scans. And with a gate time of uh, 10 seconds. So that means we already did a lot of uh, time. Um, how stable is it? Well, in my other test, it was 0 0.0003. But as you can see now, we got a lot better. We just have 10 times better. So instead of doing 300 microhertz, we are now in the 30 microhertz. Or in the 40 now it just changed a little bit. I think I moved my uh, counter, but it was around 33, 35. And now it's 42. I think when I, when I moved it, it just was, uh, it changed a little bit. The only thing is what I not know now is, is it because the Repco is now switched on for three weeks instead of four the same for the BG7 TBL, the longer you switch it on, the more stable it gets. And well, either way, uh, they are getting a lot, lot closer to each other than they were. And uh, I just wanted to show you. But it might something really might have something to do that I now only have two networks because that is what I did read. If you put three networks on your GPS DO instead of two, two is better. Uh, and now it is to zero again. It says zero, 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 zero. Oh, here we have it. Zero, zero, zero. With the two networks, this just happens a lot more often. And I also have the window open now, and sometimes I have a cold uh, wind. So it changes a little bit the temperature, but it just seems to have less influence than it had. And here we see only two networks. I didn't edit the cloners now as I was running before all the three because it just looked cool. But in the end, it is just more effective. And now, in uh, average, I'm now in the 60 centimeters instead of that it is really uh, variating a lot. It just stays around this 60 centimeters. So I did now about 6,000 samples of uh, 10 seconds. And the difference between the both of them is still 60 micro. A little bit more than 24 hours. And we did almost 10,000 scans. So it has been now about three days, I think. And uh, well, I just have been doing things in my lab as usual, just so that could have caused little distortions. I did about 22,000 uh, scans of 10 seconds. I think it's now uh, almost uh, a week. And uh, we did 50,000 scans of 10 seconds gates. And uh, it is still the same. And well, it jumped from 65 to 85. But I also have been plugging in stuff, plugging out stuff. I've been using my uh, HF transceiver that uh, 
that's more than 100 watts. So sometimes the control light uh, switched off. But uh, of course, after that, it immediately picks up again. So I don't think that had too much uh, influence. And also, I've been working on my ventilation system. So it's actually uh, one big mess. I will make a report of this too. I needed to replace uh, the electromotors, the, the bearings or the rollers, because it was getting too noisy. I could also not film anymore. So yesterday I actually found an AliExpress seller that says about the BG7 TBL uh, GPS DO that uh, accuracy is uh, 0 0.0002 Hz on 10 MHz. So that is uh, the fourth digit behind the point. And, uh, it will absolutely do that, because if we look at the average on the counter, my conclusion is uh, still the same. Uh, after my first video, my second video, and now this video, and uh, the Repco is just amazing. After so many years, that was such a piece of quality that even with a lesser uh, GPS uh, receiver, it just gets the job done and it is and it is so stable. And the same for the BG7 TBL, that is maybe with a little bit of lesser electronics, but the GPS receiver is just can receive more channels, can receive more networks, and in the end, we have a result that is also super, super stable. So, and we, we have seen it after I have it now for three or four weeks. Um, they just getting closer and closer and closer together and, and very, very stable. And I think if I measure even longer, maybe I will get even more precise. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.